hello welcome back to l talks uh, this is an introduction video which will be featured in every episode after this one but here we go so this podcast is l talks my name is alex george i am a stand-up comedian and this podcast i created nearly two years ago to just basically chronicle uh my journey into starting stand-up uh so but there's uh, other episodes that are nothing to do with stand-up it's just interest that i have it so it'll be kind of it's mainly based on comedy but it is a general podcast as well so um if you want to support me i have merchandise this lovely podcast sticker here i'll talks you can buy that if you would like to buy one you can go into my social media links are all down below in the description on my link tree as well you have access to everything i have a instagram page for the podcast i have an instagram page which is my personal one but i use that for comedy so you can check me out there follow me there and that is all um episodes usually come out on tuesday but sometimes they may come out on other days during the week and then on Thursdays, uh, if I am around anywhere doing comedy gigs, I record comedy vlogs. So you can listen to those. They usually come out on Thursdays. And that's that. Um, so yeah, all the links down below. Link tree. Um, I have Buy Me A Coffee now if you want to support me uh, as well. Links for that down below as well in the description. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And now on to the episode. Hello. Um, you watch the intro so I don't have to do anything but here we are for another episode this is going to be the second to last one this year um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of a review of the year that I've had in comedy and this is open up all the gigs I did this year which was 30 and in next week's episode i'll talk about my comedy plans for next year because you have to make plans because you don't make plans you shit fucks up anyway um what is this give me a second computer as usual being very cooperative um so anyway so i'm just looking at Start off the year very strong by bombing at the gong show, um, which is very good. Uh, no, not really. It, it was good in the sense that, you know, I bombed and I felt so bad about bombing. And, you know, the fact that M Melinda gave me such great words of encouragement. And, you know, I'd be forever grateful to him for that. Because, it, like... It, because I thought, because I had done the two shows, I was like, oh, I, I know stand-up, this is going to be great. And then I went on stage like an idiot, and I made a ass of myself. Um, but, you know, Melinda, uh, kind words really helped boost me up. And that's the reason I kind of went completely gung-ho with comedy this year was because of that. And I took his advice on board. And it was genuine advice that has most definitely paid off. And I'd like to thank Melinda for that. And then the next gig I did was Giggles. Now, the very first ever Giggles was great because I think, like, I can't remember names, like, I don't know, like 16, 17 comedians. And it was just such a good night. Everyone did really, really well. Um, I can't even remember the set I did at it. Um, but, but, no, I can't really. I think I'm not sure what it was. Oh no, I do remember the set now. I'm not sure if it was recorded. No, I don't think it was recorded because I didn't really start recording stuff back then. Um, it was only later on that I started to record. I didn't realize that the next gig after that was Columbia Bar, which is Columbia Bar is a really fun wild room because it can be chaotic. And you get to play with a lot of chaos, which is fun. Um, but it is probably one of the nicest rooms I've ever performed at. 
Uh, the fellow who owns the bar, Ross, he's real, real nice. You know, he says, you go up and do whatever material you want. Like, I own the place. He goes, I don't care. And he's always real nice to comedians. He treats us really well. Um, definitely recommend if you're a comedian going down to Columbia Bar in Mullinga. And then Giggles was the next gig after that. Uh, there was a lot of Most of the gigs I did this year was at Giggles. Because Giggles, like I said, is one of my favorite places to perform at. Because it's a grounded, uh, it's a place where you can get grounded. Because, like I said, you know, you can go to, like, cause I was performing at a lot of comedy clubs. I think there was, like, a period where I didn't do Giggles for a bit. I think it was, like, two months or something. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Giggles. Giggles, Giggles. Yeah, from... Like I did giggles on twelfth of April, and then nothing, 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 and then I came back on twenty sixth of July, and in between that, I just been doing. It was like one open mic; the rest were all like comedy club rooms. So I and then I was like, oh, I have, I, you know, I got this, got the swagger on, then boom, it was a bombing. I was like, oh Jesus, here we go. So. Definitely a humbling experience, but that's why I always try to. <coughs> Excuse me, that's why I try from then on. Sorry about that, bit under the weather. Um, yeah, so ever since that, I've always tried to mix it up because I think I might mention one of the episodes where Joy Diaz talked. Um, it was actually before that bombing I did in stitches. Uh, <laughs> And before he asked why you just say it so confidently, because I mean, uh, these things happen. It's, it's sometimes it's some the crowd is not having that. The energy in the room is funky. Sometimes it's you that's not having that, and it's funky. I don't, because like stand up is a fickle creature. I'm like for I like I definitely now have realized I've come, I've jokes at work all the time, everywhere. No, no matter what the audience, they always people always laugh at it every single time. So, I, I you know I definitely will. Uh, I don't need to work on those jokes, so they always work. So that's you know in my set, there's probably every single set I do, it's probably two or three guaranteed working jokes, and that's always nice to have in the arsenal because even if you bomb, you can just fucking throw that shit out there, you know. And go, oh yeah, well here you go. Now you're laughing, cocksuckers. Um, but yeah, you know, because Uncle Joey said he's like, you know, open mics where dreams go to die, and he's kind of right because you know there's there's not more humiliating than bombing at an open mic. That's why they're free, because you wouldn't pay for that stuff. Um, some people would, but anyway, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. I was thinking of. Yeah, so I mean, like every time you go to, because you say, it's the thing about, like I said, it all giggles is, it is always more than 10 comedians a night, so it is always a guaranteed fun night, and it's all varied people, level, uh, levels of, you know, everyone is treated exactly the same, everyone gets five minutes, and it, you know, what I like about it is, doesn't happen as much now because people just have get on with their lives and whatever. But at the very first few couple of giggles, the, the hang afterwards, you know, hang out with comedians, talk about what gigs you're doing this week and stuff like that. And I got to know enough, like throughout all of this year, I've met so many good comedians, and I've become really close with some of them. And it, it's always nice to show up to a gig and see your friends and you're like, hey, it's you, or whatever, you know. And then some of the people that i become friends with have now started their own uh, nights and clubs and stuff like that. Um, so it's really good for th that in that sense as well. And I don't know why I keep looking down at the feckin' thing. Hmm, I don't know. But I suppose I'll close this up for now. But I just I suppose I'm extremely happy and grateful for the year that I've had. 
Um, like I said, this will be a part two, two part video. We'll stretch it out a little bit. And I, I, yeah, I'll talk about comedy plans for <clears throat> next year, next week's episode. But this is going up on Christmas Eve. Sorry about that. I will I just been I I took a time off at the start of the week to just kinda of relax before work started the Christmas chaos and all that crap. Um so I don't think there's anything else really to say. Like I said, I'll continue this conversation part two of the episode. And I think that's about it. You know, uh, happy Christmas if you're celebrating. And I suppose that's it, really. <clears throat> part two will come out next week some stage when I'm sober enough to record. Ha ha. No. Um, zingers, I guess. You can expect a comedy next year. No. I I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to going back on stage because, like, I haven't performed in about two, three weeks or so, just kind of taking a break, which has been nice as well. Um, just to get a few stuff together and hang out with friends around before Christmas stuff like that. So, um, that has been nice. Um, I do I have anything else to say? No, I don't think N not for this part of the end of year comedy review. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I should see you for part two next week.